I know. Don't lie. You were talking about me. That's right. We were. We, we were talking about you. At least she's willing to admit it. Because we're very worried about you and everything that you've had to go through. That's right. Cassie Marty is don't, one don't, of your best friends. Don't tell me friends. who my friends are. I know who my friends are. I came to see you to help. <laughs> help. I want to help you. If you'll let me, yes, please. Is there something you need? I just need the truth. That's all. They all keep lying to me. They keep telling me that my baby is dead. But we know that's not true. Don't we? I mean, I, I just want William back, that's all. Make them bring... William back, Marty. Cassie? Leave us alone, Andrew. Cassie, maybe Marty and I should... need to talk. And we're good friends. So we deserve to have some time by ourselves, right? Right? Absolutely. <laughs> sure. Andrew. Uh... Uh, okay, I'm gonna be in my office. If you, if you need me no, for no, anything. No, no, I've got everything I need right here. Okay. Thank you, Marty. It's no problem. I'll uh, see you. Wait. Wait. Sit. Sit. Okay, now. Swear to me. Swear. Swear that you're not one of his. Oh, Cassie, I... That, that you... That you mean that. And that you'll do everything you can to help me. Yes, I will. But... Okay, sure. Whisper, okay? Okay. You worked in the hospital. You were candy striper. You still have your uniform? I don't know. I, I, I might. Yes. I knew it. I, I knew it. Okay. So, you can still get in the hospital wearing it, can't you? You have to. For me. Now, listen, Marty. I want you to go to the hospital nursery. And that's where they've hidden my baby, my William, and you have to find him for me. You're my last chance, Marty. And that way you'll prove that you're on my side. You have to. You have to. You said you'd help, Marty. I know, and I, I want it's to. It's up to you. Friends, that's what you said. It's easy to say you're a friend or a husband or you love someone. It's all words. Words are easy. But then, when it's time, then you find out the truth about people. People you thought you could trust and depend on. They're never there. Never. No, you know, Andrew, it was always Will there. Will you help me? That's all. Will you? Will you? I'll do what I can. As long as you're sure that's what you really want. Money, money, hey, listen to me, you look at me. There's nothing I want more in this whole world than that. You no, know, once he's back in my arms, I'll be okay. He's my baby, he's mine. I know, you, you th think... No, no, he is, Marty, but, but they don't believe that. He told them. They think I'm a bad mother. No. No, no, right, right, right. Uh, I'm a good mother. You know me. I never let anything happen to William. Of course not. No, no, but they don't believe me. And they don't ever tell me why. Why, Marty? Oh, they think that I'm so awful. I mean, and they're punishing me. All I did was take care of him and love him and why, Marty? I mean, why have you doing this? Why are you being so cruel to me? Why? Why? <laughs>
candy striper. I don't even know how she remembered that I did that volunteer work, but I just couldn't lie to her. So you told her you still had the uniform? I sort of had to. I also told her I'd try to go to the hospital and find William. Oh, no. I don't know. I, what else could I have said? I don't know. I don't know. Andrew! Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Listen, um, you probably did exactly what, what, what Dr. Jonas wants you to do, which is just to, to keep her calm. That's what Michael said. Just, just keep her calm. Well! I didn't know you were still here. I was just leaving. No, no. I'm interrupting again. You two talk. Cassie, wait. No, just no, wait. it's okay. Cassie. I can keep myself very busy upstairs in Cassie. the nursery. I talked to Dr. Jonas. I told him that we're still having just a few problems here today, and he thinks he can help us out. Andrew. Cassie, he's worried about you. I'm worried about you. Marty's very worried about you. There is something wrong Between here. Between us? Mm. Honey, You bet there is. Whatever it is, he just wants... To, to, for us to come over there just no. for a while, just to talk, no. just to no. talk. No, Andrew, I don't want to see him. There's nothing a psychiatrist can say or do that will make a bit of difference. All right, you don't know I that, know though. I know that really... Dr. Michael Jonas cannot help me. There's only one doctor in Landview who can. Okay, who's that? I want to see Larry Woolock. You do? Yes. Larry Woolock is the only doctor I'm willing to talk to. You call him. You bring him here. I'll see him, but no one else, no one else. William's alive and you know it, you know it! Wait, Cassie. Give me back my baby, you Cassie, hear me? Cassie, you Cassie, let go of me, Cassie, Cassie. let go of me! Cassie, no, what kind of doctor are you? Cassie, please. You take Cassie, me to the hospital Cassie, right now, stop. right now, I want Cassie, William, I want no, him now, no I, want I want my son, I want my son! Listen to me, I'm trying to understand you, I really am. She's gonna have to calm down, Cass. Don't you pretend you don't know what's going on. You're all in this together. You're trying to keep William away from me, but it's not gonna work because I'm gonna get him back. Uh, Andrew, I think we should... Don't talk about me like I'm not here. I am right in here. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're all in this together. I'm not in on it. You're not. With him? You're not trying to keep William away from me? Of course not. Then will you help me find him? Answer me. Will you take me to my baby? Cassie, I'm your doctor. Of course, I want to help you. So you do know where William is? I tell you what, why don't I take you down to the hospital and we'll check every baby in that nursery. Really? Yeah. You do that for me? Okay, so we can go right now. <laughs> oh, that's All wonderful. Right. I love you. <laughs> you see? You see, I was right. William is alive. He's going to come home with me tonight. Isn't that wonderful, Marty? <laughs> yes. Um, uh, Marty, look, uh... <laughs> Uh, we're a little hectic here right now, and it's going to take some time to get things organized, so... Uh... Oh, sure. i got to get back home anyway. Cassie, I'll, I'll see you later. Yes, when William's back. <laughs> I'll call you. Yeah. Will you come play the piano for William? Sure. Wh whenever you want. Okay. okay. <laughs> come on, Larry, let's go. Well, let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to need a coat. You're going to need some gloves. Why don't you run upstairs and get them? I'll wait right here. Uh, um... Go on, go on. The sooner you do that, the sooner we get to the hospital. Okay, okay. All right. How long has she been like this, Andrew? Why did you do that to her? What do I? Why did you tell her you were going to take her to the hospital to see her baby? I didn't say that. I said I would take her to the hospital, which is exactly where she belongs. She thinks she's going to see her baby. Andrew, she is... She needs psychiatric attention. And I think... I think Dorian should be told, too. Dorian. Be a big help. Come on. She has to know. That's her daughter, and she's having a complete psychotic break. <laughs> 